Now it's time to build our electronic circuit. So what is the electronic circuit? Well, we're going to take the chemical energy in this battery and we're going to transform it into electric energy in an electrical circuit. And then we're going to send that electrical energy through the wires to a motor and then this motor is going to convert that electric energy into rotational motion or mechanical energy. Now remember, do not put the batteries in the battery holder until we have the circuit built. That will minimize the risk of a short circuit. So we'll just set the batteries out of the way for a few minutes. Okay. So when we look at the battery holder, we have a switch. This is closed. This is open. Open circuit means no electricity can flow. A closed circuit is when electricity can flow. When we're going to install the batteries, we'll always have this open. Okay. Now, your kit may come with the ends of the wire. There's no wire exposed on here. Uh, and we need to have some exposed wire so we can wrap around the terminals on our motor. Okay, so uh, I've gone and actually added a plus on the motor and a minus on the motor. Your motors may or may not have a polarity on them. Uh, in the motor that I have, uh, this is the plus, this is the negative. And actually the polarity will determine the rotation, which direction your, your motor will turn. We'll look at that a little bit more. Um, but if you don't have enough wire then sticking out, we will we'll basically take some of this plastic insulation off. Okay. So to do that, we're going to take a pair of scissors. Again, don't use uh, the best scissors in the house. Uh, and you're going to go around. And I'm not going to cut through the whole wire. I'm just going to just put a little crease. And so what I'm doing is I'm just chomping at it just a little bit. And then I'm rotating. I'm turning this wire here. Okay, so. And if you can look really closely there, there's a little, little spot. And I'll put my fingernail right there and I'll pull. And when I pull, the plastic around the wire will rip right where we did that little mark. And then now I can twist it. And so now I have enough wire out. Okay, so before I may have only had this little teeny I may have only had a little teeny piece of wire sticking out and now I have a much larger piece and I can wrap around. So practice with your spare wire and then once you get really good at that now you can uh, strip this wire. Okay, I want to point out uh, the last thing once you pull that wire off you want to grab it and twist it. Twist all of the wires together. That makes the strands of wire very nice and clean. And you don't want it very long. Okay, this shouldn't be really long because then you run into another problem where you could have an accidental short circuit. So now let's connect it to the motor. So I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to bring it up through. I'm going to bend it around and I'm going to wrap. Be very careful not to break, pull on that tab or break that tab off. Okay, now I have my two wires connected to my motor. And just to ensure I have a good connection, I want to make sure I look really closely, make sure that there's no wires from the red touching the metal of the motor. And then if I have some tape, handy you can kind of tape your wires in place okay now we're ready to install our battery our battery has a negative and our battery has a positive if you look inside we have a negative and we have a positive again make sure the switch is open When I turn this switch on here, this will rotate. So you want to make sure we're not caught in the carpet or have any long hair or we're not touching it. Okay, good. 
Now let's test the rotation. So the rotation of the motor, like I said, is dependent upon the polarity of the wires. So right now when I hooked it up, if, I, this is, if I'm building this for a plane, I want the wind to blow this way. So I'll get forward motion. And I don't feel any wind this side, I feel it on this side, so I'm good. I'm going to have, when my, if I connect my motor to my plane now, my plane will move forward. Okay. Um, also, if I hook my wheel up, so this will be important when you, if you made a three wheel cart like we did in the last video, you want to test the rotation direction. You want to test the rotation direction of the wheel before you install it. Before you install. So in this case, if I install this direction, my my cart would be going backwards. So I need to install when I install on my cart. I'm going to install this way, and now my wheel is rolling, going to go the right direction, and I'll have my cart will go forward. So again, think about how you orientate and the direction. If you're working with the fan and your motors uh, by chance going blowing the wrong direction you can take off these terminals and just switch the positive and negative and now your circuit will work. The current will flow in the opposite direction through the motor making it turn the opposite direction. Okay, remember never leave your batteries in the connector because you could have an accidental short circuit. So when you're done Take out the batteries and store store your circuit with no batteries. Okay, the next step is to install your electronic circuit into or onto your uh, chassis.